hi guys welcome to today's session and today we're going to discuss about national call index in this session we'll first see a brief about national call index then we'll discuss the compilation process of national call index and uh, then we'll see uh, in general few points about call and uh, then we'll discuss the classification of call in india and finally we'll discuss uh, where are the call reserves located in india so this is how i plan this uh, session let's now start Recently, the Ministry of Call has started the commercial auction of call mines on a revenue share basis using the National Call Index. And this was rolled out in June 2020. And it is a price index which reflects the change of price level of call in a particular month related to the fixed base year. And the base year for NCA is financial year 2017-18. So that is a brief about uh, National Call Index. Now we will see uh, what are the compilation process of National Call Index. Here prices of call from all the sales channels of call including import as existing today are taken into account for compiling the National Call Index. The amount of revenue share per ton of call produced from auctioned blocks would be arrived at using the NCA by means of defined formula. And uh, the sub indices uh, NCA is composed of a set of five sub indices uh, that is three for non cocking call and two for cocking call. And the three sub indices uh, for non cocking call are combined to arrive at the index for non cocking call, and two sub indices of cocking call are combined to arrive at the index for cocking call. Thus, indices are separate for non cocking and cocking call. And as per the grade of call pertaining to a mine, the appropriate sub index is used to arrive at the revenue share. And so that is the compilation process. Anyways, this is not as, as much important uh, from the examination point of view, but you should be aware of this. Uh, it, it may can as, uh, ask as a statement in an MCQ, but it is not that important. Now we'll see. Uh, few details or a few points about coal in general. As we all know coal is the most abundant fossil fuel which holds 55% of India's energy need and based on uses coal is divided into two types one is caulking coal and other one is non caulking coal. Caulking coal is type of coal when subjected to high temperature carbonization that is heating in the absence of air to a temperature about 600 degrees Celsius and it forms a salt porous residue called caulk and caulk is fed into blast furnace along with iron ore and limestone to produce a steel in steel plants and caulking coal is decided to be of a low ash percentage and uh, non caulking coal these are coals without any caulking properties and the use of this is uh, it is used in thermal power plants to generate electricity so it is also known as steam coal or thermal coal and it is also used for cement, fertilizer, glass, ceramic, paper, chemical and brick manufacturing and for other heating purposes. So these uh, are uh, two types of coals and uh, which is based on uses. Now we will see uh, the three major classification of coals uh, which is seen in India. As we all know coal is originated from organic matter wood and when large tracts of forests are buried under sediments wood is burned and decomposed due to heat from below and pressure from above and the phenomenon makes coal but takes centuries to complete and classification of coal can be done on the basis of carbon content and time period and on the basis of carbon content it can be classified into following three types one is anthracite coal. It is the best quality of coal with high calorific value and carries 80 to 95 percent carbon content. It ignites uh, slowly with a blue flame and found in small quantities in Jammu and Kashmir. Then we have the bituminous coal. It has a low level of moisture content with 60 to 80 percent of carbon content and has a high calorific value. It is seen in Jharkhand, West Bengal. Odisha, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh and then we have lignite coal it carries 40 to 55 percent of carbon content 
and it is often brown in color with high moisture content thus gives smoke when burned and uh, Rajasthan, Lekimpur that is in Assam and Tamil Nadu has uh, deposits of lignite and uh, peat is the first stage of transformation from wood to coal with low calorific value and less than 40% of uh, carbon content. So these are the classification and now we will see uh, where are the coal reserves located in India. As a result of exploration carried out up to maximum depth of 1200 meter a cumulative total of 319 billion tons of geological resources of coal have so far been estimated in the country and uh, hard coal deposit spread over 27 major coal fields are mainly confined to eastern and south central parts of the country and the lignite reserves stand at a level around 36 billion tons of uh, which 19% 90% occur in southern state of Tamil Nadu and the top five states in terms of total coal reserves in India are Jharkhand uh, comes first then Odisha then Chhattisgarh then comes West Bengal and uh, Madhya Pradesh on the fifth position so this is the order and that is about the coal reserves in India so that's all for today guys and uh, we started with national coal index which is a recent initiative so it is very important uh, in the examination point of view so please study about this thank you for watching this lesson we will meet tomorrow with another topic